Hello guys, this is me, Clash Viral Studios. Welcome back to another video. And today I got the May the 4th custom for you guys. Now, this custom was made in the span of about an hour or two. Um, I made this straight when I got home. I mean, of course I ate and everything, but I made this straight when I got home. And I finished it in a matter of hours. It's practically dry. Now, I didn't do my best job on this custom, but it may look good. And... I'm recording this in 4K so you guys can watch it in 4K. I'm just testing it out, see if this works. I'm probably not going to record in 4K all the time because that's kind of a waste of memory for my phone. So anyway, let's get with it. Um, so right here we got a, get the custom gun off of here. Right here we have a custom gun. This was made from a regular old Lego rifle that you get in like the Clone Wars Lego sets. Um, I cut off the um, handle or the trigger. I cut off the stock, which I believe is this thing back here. And I had a cut up lightsaber piece and I glued it onto the back of this rifle. And I glued on the rest of the stock so it looks like it's kind of powered by energy. And this thing right here, I believe, was a, a lightsaber hilt that was already cut up, and I just glued it on there. And then this is the front of the lightsaber, so you could put that and plug something into it if you want. And that's pretty much all with that. Now we got the custom Mandalorian. Now this Mandalorian, you guys have seen before. This is the same one I used for the magnetic tutorial for the magnetic jetpack. So basically I got a orange and white color scheme going on, maybe a little bit of gray just from the weathering effect I used on it, which is you get a little bit of black paint, dip it in water a few times, and then you just paint over it and it, and it has this weathered dirt effect. effect. Um, so he kind of has a little wrist communicator on there or computer. Uh, orange there, a Mandalorian symbol, you, if you could tell. Um, helmet, and then you got his custom jetpack. If you guys are wondering why I decided to customize this, is because I thought it looked really ugly just without a just without a proper paint job, and it just didn't look nice with a regular normal scarred up um, Mandalorian body. So I just ended up painting it. So. Jetpack. I didn't paint the back of this because I couldn't really get any paint on there. I mean, I could have squeezed some in there, but what would be the point? And uh, for the sides, the arms, if I could lift them up. This right here, that is just some orange paint. It's on both sides too. I can show you the other side. I can try anyway. But. Yeah, that is on both sides with the orange. It just comes up from this little stripe here. Right under the arm, right there. And then that stripe there, and it just cuts and goes down. And then you got some inner leg painting, if you could see that. You know, it's just kind of weathered up and everything like that. So let me put them back together. There's nothing inside the helmet, by the way, but a regular old clone head. There's the helmet. Better detail. So let me get them put together and then we could all see them one last time before I end the video on May the 4th. Alright, guys. Uh, so we got him partially done because I didn't put the jetpack on. Now we got him done and. Yeah, this was my May the 4th review, and I recorded this in 4K. Ironically enough, May the 4th, so May the 4K be with you. I, okay, that, that, that's stupid. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. I will have another video. I might make a Star-Lord and a Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I don't know yet because I don't really have anything to make them with. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.